All right, welcome back to the Nicole Expert Guide to where we will be showing you guys how to build her up and basically go out in your own way and find out how to use her yourself. Now, yes, I know my level is level 30. I've been exploring a lot of different options outside of just, um, what's it called? Doing the story and all that. So don't be too harsh on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. But uh, first we are going to, if I can find it, we are going to go to the gadget store. Because at the gadget store, they start talking about engines. And that is what we need to get started with moving with Nicole. Come so, check it out and don't the gadget out. store has the database. You don't have to buy anything. That's just, you know what I'm saying? That's something you can do if you have the means to do it. But I haven't done it yet, so I'm not going to tell somebody else to do it. However, this is where you can see all of the W engines in the game. And uh, there isn't too many, but there is quite a selection in the game. So we're just going to go through this on the, I guess the more affordable ones is the ones that I'd like to stick with. And so far when I had asked my chat, I asked my chat and I also asked Ioku's chat. And I also asked Zeta's chat. So I asked a lot of people to try and get a lot of different responses. Unfortunately, Zeta's chat did not have any expertise to be able to give any input. But Ioku's chat did have the same input that my chat also had, which was the Mark 1 and the Mark 2. So we are going to be looking at that together. The Mark 2 uh, energy regen 16%, which is also nice. Uh, launching an EX special attack or a chain attack increases all all squad members anomaly mastery and anomaly proficiency proficiency excuse me by 10% for 10 seconds and it triggers every 20 seconds. Now that is good if you want to do some burst damage you like really fast like you do not you don't have any time whatsoever to do anything and you just want to get that anomaly damage in quickly. Uh, but this one right here they also suggested which I also was looking at as well because of the attack bonus but looking at um what we did in the intermediate video it does not seem like this right here is worth um as much value as I was thinking but we're still going to read it, it says launching the EX special attack increases all squad members impact by 8% for 10 seconds now what impact does is it allows you to ignore the opponent's defense I believe we can also double check that just so we can be sure on that. Let's look at a character really fast. Uh, oh, no, my fault. That is what uh, penetration does, my fault. Impact is what allows your days to go up and that's what that yellow bar underneath their health is. That is my fault entirely. Oh, thank you, I appreciate that. So that's that was the uh, reverb mark one. That was also the only other support one. Um, the impact is really good if you have, uh, people like Ambi on your team. I don't know any other, like, stun people off the top of my head. I just really like Ambi. But, like I said, it, it works really well if you have people like Ambi on your team. I do try to make Slice of Life work, or Slice of Time work, excuse me. But the, the thing with Slice of Time is that it doesn't really... Help me as much as I like it to because it's you're meant to switch in because you get the most amount of decibels by switching in doing a chain attack. With that being the case, I don't like doing chain attacks with um Nicole. Yes, is it worth doing it? Absolutely, but the fact that it's limited makes me not want to use it as much. Yes, it comes back also pretty consistently. I'm not gonna lie, if you're doing chain attacks pretty consistently. But again, I just, I don't even want the option of it being gone to be there. So I just, I try not to use this too much unless it's with uh, Alexandrina. But uh, those are the only two that I can see you making work with her because, what is this? This is the only other one, Reverb Mark Three, chain, uh, Launching a chain attack or ultimate increases members attack by 8%. We don't want attack increase, I'm not gonna lie, it's just not worth it. When, we're, when we want the anomaly build up, that's where we're getting most of our attack from, I'm not going to lie, from that anomaly proficiency, from the disorder that's happening. So that that's the only thing I can say with that in terms of building uh, like for free to play. I mean, if you got lucky, if you got really lucky, you could have got hers, which I also need to get myself. But hers, 
dealing aether damage using an ex special attack chain attack the chain attack is very important guys or ultimate attack uh increases all squad members the all squad members damage against the targets by 15 percent and increases the energy regen by 0.5 percent which is great that's great but it's the fact that it increases all squad members damage against the target i don't think it it like specified what type so i think that applies with anomaly as well I'm hoping it applies with Anomaly as well, but regardless, having the energy regen, that is something she definitely freaking needs. She needs that energy regen, so if you have that, throw that on her, because that's probably the best thing you can have on her. I don't think any other S rank that's for another character that you just, for some reason, don't have would be able to fit for her. But since we're there, we are going to move on to the next music sets that you will want to use for her. So we will go to the music store right here. Now, the music store is not the only place you can get the um the disc from, the vinyls from. That's why I've been calling them. You can also get them from the routine cleanups. I just I do not want to use my batteries right now. And this also is able to allow us to look at all of them. Which, again, there's not a large selection, but there is a selectable selection you get what i'm saying so this allows us to see everything there is multiple different quality sets i don't know the difference between the quality sets i'm not gonna lie um i think it it changes the rates between like two percent or to like from two to five percent respectively uh let's see here but yeah this is this is where you would look at all the stuff you would put on to her disc lots right next to the w engines and for her let's look at what we recommend outside of chaotic metal because i would personally recommend two pieces of chaotic metal but then it says the equipper's crit, the equipper's crit damage increases by 20 percent when any character in the squad triggers corruption now this right now i feel like is a no-go you don't need four pieces to have your crit rate increase by 20 percent because you're not going at the moment if you're at base right now because we just had that conversation you're not going to be doing corruption as much if you're doing corruption consistently to the point to where it's like wow i could probably benefit off this all right cool whatever i'm not gonna i'm not gonna hold you but this is like starting out you're not doing anything i would want you to increase your aether damage innately outside of just the you know whatever your character has and then we can start looking at what else we got going on here, which would be increased anomaly proficiency. Obviously, I don't have any freedom blues. That is my fault. I'm not going to lie. I should probably be going for that. But uh, I would go for two, two chaotic metal, two freedom blues, because that's giving your aether damage up and it's increasing your anomaly proficiency. But in terms of the last two slots, I'm not entirely sure yet. Oh, swing jazz. So you would go with chaotic metal. Freedom Blues Swing Jazz. That is where I would go with that if you're going on like something budgety. Uh, because the, every a lot of people can benefit off of Swing Jazz. So you should have a lot of Swing Jazz anyway. But um, in terms of Chaotic Metal and Freedom Blues, I don't know how many like battery costs that's going to get you. But I will tell you that these, these, three, these three are what I would put on Nicole. I think right now I already have her having Chaotic Metal on her. I have her having two Chaotic Metal. I have her having two Swing Jazz. Like I said, I, I just put that there because I didn't have any Swing Blues. That That's literally it. That is literally the only reason why. If I, if I had known about the Swing Blues ahead of time, I would put Swing Blues right there. That is how good it is. So that 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 is what I recommend for her. Obviously, if you guys can go and get whatever you can to level her up get what you can to level her up i'm not gonna sit here and say go pull for her because that's absolutely insane but there is a character that's coming out with a third that is attacker that will be able to work with her so you can you can have a corrupted team a corruption team <laughs> you can get a little evil with it if you know what i mean but um the fact that we do have another character coming out that's allowed to do stuff like that is really cool so you know it's up to you if you want to pull for Nicole. I know a lot of people really like Nicole. I didn't personally go and pull for her to get her three three stacks, essentially. However, she if she shows up in the shop, I may, you know what I'm saying? I may spend some of my points to go and get me some Nicoles. You know what I'm saying? I like Nicole. She's pretty cool. And the fact that, you know, getting her 
six star and makes her kind of cracked is pretty insane it seems like they want you to focus on crit i don't know why honestly i like i really don't get it i i really don't get it i don't know if like crit goes into this order at all but that I, yeah i don't i don't get that right now but that is that is all for the nicole expert guide that's all i have i don't think there's anything else i can actually provide you guys that's within my 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 means like I, I don't have anything else i can give you guys within my means but i am thinking about doing more guides for characters like this because i have seen people struggling with other characters looking at how to get started with other characters where to begin with other characters and i i training it 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 helps it helps a lot if you don't understand how your character is working and you feel like going and doing like story missions you don't want to deal with the tvs which is completely understandable the tvs are a lot to deal with when you want to just fight people uh but you know understanding how you want to fight before you even get in is also part of the game i feel like and that's why they give you the training mode so you know if you got you also get bonuses from going into training mode so there, there's like no no like reason not to go outside of just like wanting to play the game truthfully which is understandable but give it a try you may find something you never found before you may find something like the nicole animation that people never found until they went to training but other than that i will be back with some more guys and i hope you guys enjoy the video enjoy the videos and enjoy the guy videos and i will see you guys in the next one